Hey guys, so it's been a little while since I have recorded anything, and I'm going to start um, recording today, I hope, with a few. You may hear the baby in the background. I may have to stop and go take care of her, but other than that, today I'm going to start out with, it's a summer collaboration. All of the details will be down below. And this collaboration is basically based on unconventional, unconventional summer polishes. This was really difficult because I'm not a seasonal polish wearer. Um, I typically believe neons are more summer. So I have gone with some darker polishes that you would normally probably wear in the fall. This swatch wheel is because I do have two that I've not worn yet, so I will live swatch them for you when we get to them. We're gonna do them at the end. But first, what we're gonna start with is we're gonna start with this clean color. Oh. And this one here. And don't mind my nails. I actually did have time to do them. And the last polish that I put on was this one here and I just wasn't digging it it is Miss Wanderlust <clears throat> and also what I'd like to do is I really like uh, Jessica the polished Queens way that she's doing her D stash like I know I have all of my enlisted on Instagram but I would actually like to go ahead and do a video maybe one or two a week of maybe 10 to 20 polishes or so that I have in my box that I'm looking to de-stash um, once they're all listed on Instagram. And then maybe this way I will be able to rid myself of them sooner. There's nothing wrong with them. They are just colors that I would not normally wear or <clears throat> I've worn them. Typically, I like to try to wear them for at least one manicure. Um, and I did. And I the formula either didn't work for me or the color didn't work for me. Something like now this, the color just didn't work for me. This reminds me a lot of Orly's Elysian Generation. And I didn't de-stash that yet. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. I might have to start like a maybe pile and try to rewear them and see. I just don't think I liked the way it looked. Um, so I don't know. But as of right now, this is Miss Wanderlust. And that is the remnants that you're seeing on my paws. <clears throat> so... Back to the unconventional summer colors. We have clean color in cobalt. And this is beautiful. I mean, you know, it's a dark blue. You wouldn't typically wear it in the summer, I guess, except around, you know, Memorial Day or 4th of July. But it's a very shimmery, pretty blue. Has a good formula. Of course, clean colors are the ones that stink. So you might not be into that, but here is the swatch. This is two coats. So it is very shimmery and very pretty, very ocean-like actually. Okay, so that was cobalt. Next up I have a Nubar polish, and I didn't know this, but apparently Nubar is no longer making polishes. Um, which is really a shame, but I'm so glad that I got this set when I did. This one here is called Gem. And it's like a brown. Um, I can't describe it. It is like a brown. It's like a taupey brown, but it's got like a pink shimmer in it. And of course, it's got the scattered holographic. This is sheer. This goes on with three to four coats. But it's so worth it. Let me get in a little closer, maybe. I have a new phone. I have the Galaxy S8 Plus, and this is my first video making with it. And its close ups are a lot closer than my Galaxy 6 Plus Edge was. So that's kind of cool. 
So here is, <clears throat> I'm not sure if this is two or three coats. Typically on the swatch rings, I like to do two coats. Um, so I'm going to stop it at being two coats. I have glitter there and it's bothering me. I know, I should have really cleaned my nails. Uh, but, oh well. <clears throat> I have a baby now, so I have an excuse. <laughs> I only recently started polishing again. Um, I was just not able to find time. I learned I need to make time, so. Um, but this is, I believe, two coats of gem by Nubar. Believe you could still, of course, get these on eBay, Amazon, etc. Okay, this next one is actually was released in a Halloween collection, but I think actually I really think it's summer appropriate. Also, it's it's all year round appropriate to me. So this is from Pure Ice, and this is Witching Hour, and as you can see, it's got rosy pink glitters in there and some. They're not, they're kind of like coppery gold glitters. And it looks like there's some matte, um, yeah, there's some matte pink peach glitters in there. Okay, so there's that. And it is kind of sparse on the nail. It's just a topper though. Um, so... I do think that that is a summery type of polish, but it works because it's a Halloween polish. And there it is on the swatch. You can see those matte peach glitters. Okay. Next one up. See, I consider this one more of a winter type polish. But I think it'll work for summer also because it's got holographic in it. And it's kind of, it's really pretty. It's one of the bar glitters that I keep around because I really, really actually enjoy it. So this one here is Essie and it is Peak of Chic. And it's white matte bar glitters with silver hollow bar glitters. And I just really like this one. And you can, you'll see in my swatch, you can get this opaque on its own. Mine is kind of thick right now, so if I were to wear it, I would need to add some thinner. So here is two coats all by itself of Essie's Peak of Chic. Okay, and if it just got quiet in the background, that's because the baby's um, white noise machine went off. I'm trying to get her to go back to sleep this morning, but it's not quite working out the way I'd expect it. So, let's see if I can turn that back on. But she's, she actually likes it. Next, I have this one in here because this looks terrific with a bunch of different flakies on top of it. So the S means it stamps. And I used to do that a lot right on the bottom if it stamped. This is Nebula by Fresh Paint. And it's a real pretty, I got a lot of light here. It's a real pretty, I'm doing one of those Claire things. Um, yeah, let me see if I can adjust that lighting at all. Okay, so that's a little more better. Um, so it's a real pretty purpley burgundy. It's just super pretty. Again, it, it looks spectacular with a bunch of flakies on top of it. Fresh paint is made by Color Club. It's found at Five Below. And it's beautiful. And then here's the swatch. For the longest time, this with Essie's, or no, it was, um, I did have Shine of the Times, but I, I got rid of it a long time ago because I had Color Club's Sugar Crush, I believe, or Fresh Paint or something. It was 
it, it's a dupe to Shine of the Times. For the longest time, this was my profile photo on Instagram with the flaky over top of it. And it was just stunning. So there is the swatch of Nebula. Next up, we have this deep, dark purple. This is Wet n Wild Mega Last. And this is called Purple Rain. And it's got that very strong blue flash. You can hear her in the background. She's very fussy. Okay, so there it is on the brush. And here she is on the swatch. And you can see in the right lights that flash, that blue flash does come out. It's very pretty. I don't find that to be a summery color. Uh, next up we have... And I'm trying to stay away from a lot of holographic polishes because you want to break out your hollows in the summer. Um, but these do have holographic um, properties to them. Oh, excuse me. So this is a C&D Vinyl Lux. And this is in Nordic Lights. And this is a real pretty deep purple. It's got scattered hollow. And then it's got like rainbow flakies in there so this is a very pretty polish and there it is on the brush this is a great formula there's those flakies I also think it has gold flakies in there as well that looks gold okay and here she is on the swatch two coats now you will need top coat for this and once you put a top coat on it'll bring out those flakies and everything a little bit better very pretty that was nordic lights by c and d vinyl Lux. okay so next i'm gonna swatch these i did use a color button on the top here but it kind of came off. I don't know why. So, and I love this Butter London. This is a Butter London, by the way. And I absolutely adore it. And looking at it close, I could see more um, depth to it than what I originally thought it had. It's got like fuchsia colored and God, I don't know if they're gold or if they're like a rosy gold glitter. Huh. But this is Shambolic by Butter London. One of my favorite Butter Londons ever. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and swatch this one. Okay, so that was one coat of Shambolic. Okay, next up, <clears throat> not too many people wear black in the summer. However, <clears throat> black hollow is very different. So this is a KB Shimmer, and this is called Stark Raven Mad. And it's basically just a black linear hollow. And I have other black linears, but this is the one that I chose because it was more easily accessible. So here's going to be one coat of KB Shimmer's Stark Raven Mad. And I'm seeing kind of gold in there, so I think she might have like a gold flash in there. Next one up. This is an unconventional color, but it has hollow in it, so it makes it okay. So this is one of those Broadway Gel Strong, and this is a nudie color with some scattered hollow, and it's called Sparkling Stone. So 
So it is a shimmer with the gold or with the scattered hollow. So here is one coat of sparkling stone. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this video and come back after the second coats have been applied and um, then we'll end it. I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I went ahead and applied the two coats. So here again is Butter London's Shambolic. And then we have KP Shimmer's Stark Raven Mad. This one would probably benefit from three coats. Or if you have an opaque black, you can put one coat over a black. Because it is still... <clears throat> excuse me a little sheer and then we have <clears throat> excuse me broadway nails in sparkling stone and that will conclude my um polish picks my unconventional summer polish picks for this collaboration i might at the end of this video actually insert a few nail art ideas that are unconventional for summer as well um i'm not sure because it's all a time restraint with me um but i will definitely try to do that um so yeah i thank you for watching um if you came from another channel and you're new to mine welcome i do basically a lot of collection videos <clears throat> excuse me um, I've been chugging along at my collection, <clears throat> which has a lot of videos. So if you like to watch live swatching and, um, collection videos like that, go through my playlists and, um, you'll find hours upon hours of watching pleasure. And I hope you'll go down below and visit all of the other lovely ladies and see what their summer picks were. So as usual, I want to thank you for watching and I hope that you have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye.